Let's talk about that atrial kick. In patients with aortic stenosis, the stiff left ventricle depends on the atrial contraction to achieve your adequate filling. So when the atrial fibrillation strikes, the atrial kick is lost, and that'll dramatically decrease the preload. This, in turn, reduces your stroke volume and your cardiac output, leading to hypotension, pulmonary congestion. The left atrium and the pulmonary vein backs up, and the result is a flash pulmonary edema. The most important concept here is the decreased left ventricular preload caused by a sudden loss of your atrial contraction. So in a stiff, hypertrophic heart, atrial contraction is essential. If you lose it, like an AFib, that can tip a stable patient with aortic stenosis into pulmonary edema and cardiogenic shock. Here's our practice question. 70-year-old man, long-standing history of dyspnea and a harsh systolic murmur, has sudden palpitations, hypotension, and signs of pulmonary edema. He's found to be an AFib. What contributed, what precipitated this? Decreased left ventricular preload. So he has a ventricular compliance that's reduced because he has concentric hypertrophy because of his aortic stenosis. And so you need that a kick, the atrial kick, to fill adequately. And if the atrial fibrillation eliminates that atrial kick, then the preload is gonna plummet, and that's gonna severely impair your output and lead to hypotension and pulmonary edema, because it's gonna be backed up in the lungs. If you think this is helpful, then like and subscribe if you wanna see more content. Let me know how we can improve these videos. I wanna see you guys succeed.